Hey, what's going on guys? It's Davidium with another video. This time we're going to be taking a look at a farm that is in the Outlands on the very far west side of the Grand. In this area, you're going to be targeting Cobras and you're also going to be skinning them. So make sure that before you head out here that you have skinning on the character that you're going to be bringing. I recommend doing it on a Druid just because how much faster it is to get back into the flight form. You'll get a lot more Cobras by the end of your farming session. Now these Cobras, when you skin them, they have a very small chance of dropping Cobra Scales, which is what you're going to be going after because they're used in the recipe to create these Stylin Hats. Now there's four Stylin Hats, the Stylin Purple Hat, the Stylin Crimson Hat, the Stylin Jungle Hat, and the Stylin Adventure Hat. And these four recipes are rare drops from four different mobs in different instances. Now the Purple Hat drops from Blackheart the Insider from Shadow Labyrinth. The Crimson Hat drops from Sethic Raven Guards from Sethic Halls. The jungle hat drops from rift keepers and rift lords from the black morass and the adventure hat drops from durnhold rifflemen from hillspread foothills now after an hour of farming these snakes i was able to get 300 kills and from those 300 kills they got 30 skills so they were a 10 percent drop rate for me and on top of that i was able to get the nothide leather which also is needed for the patterns on my server right now the scales sell for 400 gold each which on average on na servers that's about accurate across all the realms so if we just sell the mats themselves between the leather and the cobra scales, I was looking at 14,000 gold for the hour. Now it's more worthwhile to turn the scales into the hat since I have the recipes and the chat sells between 10 to 20,000 gold. In order to make the hats, you also need primals, whether it's primal life, primal shadow, primal fire or primal earth. But even if you don't want to farm up the primals and you want to just buy them off the auction house, you're still going to be making between five to 10,000 gold on each hat. So with the five to 10,000 profit each and the fact that I was able to make 15 hats out of all the skills that I farmed up, I was looking at about a hundred to 150,000 gold from just one hour of farming these snakes. It's definitely not a bad idea. If you don't already have the patterns for these hats, you definitely want to go farm them just because the way that they look, a lot of people want them in their collection, even if they aren't using them because of their unique appearance. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the farm, let me know in the comments below. I know it's not a new farm. It's been around for a while, but it's usually quite forgotten because it is completely out of the way and you also have to go farm the recipe for it. But anyways, guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. But anyways, guys, until next time, bye bye.